Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> this is Mike Peterson, and uh, as you can see, it's not even 10 a.m. Sunday morning on September 10th, 2023. It's 20 of 10. Okay, so in the video, what I want to talk about is how the civil defense or the counter-rad markings appeared on radios from your home radios to transistor radios and even in your car radios from 1953 until 1963 and I'll try and give a description you know like a reason as to why the civil defense markings had showed up on these radios from the Cold War days um, let's, for example, go to this one. You can see it says more 1953-1963 car radios with Conrad nuke strike frequencies. So, those markings right there, little triangles, they're on 640 and 1240 AM dial. And the only reason for it is to let everybody know of a nuclear threat during the Cold War. Now it can either look like, hold on a second. It can, these markings can either look like the triangle in circle with the letter CD on it. Or they can look like a triangles right there on the dial. So, yesterday I went over to this local coffee shop called the, the Tram in Utica, and I happened to have stumbled upon those two radios that had the civil defense markings on it, and it just so happens that I have it saved up to my laptop, so I'll show everybody in a bit, but here's another example right there. Now this is a triangle in circle. Oops, hold on. It just moved. <laughs> but you can see the examples. Now, let's go back. Okay. This one right there has the triangle in circle, but does not have the letter CD on it. I don't know why I'm just so interested in all this stuff. But this is what you had to do in the case of a nuclear threat from the Soviets. In case of attack, tune your AM radio dial to 640 or 1240 AM for official info. Conrad, Federal Civil Defense Administration. Okay, so here is one of the radios that I took a photo of yesterday at the coffee shop. And I'm going to zoom in closer so you could... You know see it a little better about 70% okay so if you see the letter CD on it that's what they represent at the AM via AM dial this is a early 60s Zenith AM FM radio with the automatic frequency control it's a 5 tube set so beautiful and I just happened to have stumbled upon it and took a picture of it. So this is one of the radios that I have taken a picture of. Okay, so here's another example of a Magnavox tubed radio. Right there. You can see the markings right there. And this person only did four pictures. I don't know what the model of it is. And it says run one number. Oh crap. But they have hookups in the back for the Magnavox. But as you can see, this is what I'm talking about here. And I'm playing cheesy music on the Live 365 app, so I listen to all kinds of music. But anyways, let's click out of that. 
And if it's mid-century, it's got to have these markings on it. Let me see if it does. Probably doesn't have it because it's probably early 50s. Nope. Well, as soon as I find one, I'll come back and uh, show you guys. Okay, so I'm having my morning coffee and drink or drinking my morning coffee listening to big band music okay so now we're back to uh, this now okay so if you see these markings yep okay so and like I said you're gonna see a transistor radio with these markings little orange markings on the side and on the top and bottom okay so by 1963 there was no civil defense because it was replaced by the emergency broadcasting system right up until around uh, 1997 or so and then afterwards it was it became the emergency alert system which is the new uh, civil defense so if you ever buy a vintage tube radio or any radio from 1953 to 1963 look for these markings right there they'll either they'll either have this marking the letter CD on it or they'll have the triangles on it or maybe they'll have the little dots on the sides between or not between but um, they'll have the little dots on 640 and 1240 a.m. so don't forget to look for those and uh, all right I just want to give you guys a tidbit because the reason for the civil defense is because during the Cold War if in the event there would be like a nuclear disaster by the Soviets, then you would have to tune into the stations that have these markings. So, just a little history for everyone. And, alrighty, I hope I talk to everybody in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to me for more of my videos. I also have a another YouTube channel that's posted in the link the uh, the link for the second YouTube channel is below this video so click the bell icon to get notified of any videos that I upload on both channels and see you guys in the next one